All right, pinpoint weather alert in effect on this Monday morning. Not anything really uh, major here, but a couple of things Stephen's keeping his eye on on this Monday morning. The fog right now in some areas, especially along the coastline later today, chance for some stormy weather, right? Yeah, Patrick, the biggest threat for the severe weather looks to be to our south and west, but okay. still we're in a level one marginal risk, so we have to keep an eye out of the yeah. sky later on today and uh, be mindful of that. But first and foremost, this is the dense fog advisory until 10 o'clock this morning. You can see uh, that lighter shade of gray along the coastline and out towards southeastern mass. So that's until 10 o'clock again for lower visibility due to some dense fog. And here is a look at the visibility numbers. Four miles in Newport, less than a mile in westerly. 10 miles in New Bedford. So these keep changing as, you know, areas of fog kind of meander around and in Providence, nine miles as well. So just be mindful of that when you're heading out the roadways, take it slow. This is out in New Bedford right now. Not too bad. The bridge here looks like it's in the in motion here. And again, it's not too bad in terms of visibility. One more check outside the capital city of Providence. You can see a lot more fog here across the bay and you can't even really see the skyline in the background. So keep that in mind if you're out in the roadways this morning. Temperatures in the 60s will top out in the 70s later on today. Three key things, of course, areas of fog, that dense fog advisory in effect until 10. Thunderstorm threat throughout the entire day. Best chance of seeing some strong to severe storms will be to our west, but still keeping an eye on that uh, as we go through today. And our overall pattern is remaining unsettled as we head through the next seven days. Here's the weather setup. You can see a stationary front to our north, moisture to the north as well. Some scattered showers and uh, downpours around, a warm front off to the west, cold front to the west as well. This is going to be making its way through, and that's going to help kind of trigger a couple chances of some showers and storms over the next couple of days. And uh, we'll time that out right now. Let's actually go through actually our first a severe threat which is the marginal one risk here, darker shade of green. Again, isolated strong wind gusts, some hail, heavy rain, lightning are the main threats, but notice the yellow, the level two threat is off to the south and west of our area. Now let's time things out. Clouds in place for this morning and uh, look at this first area of moisture and some thunderstorms making their way through. They kind of fizzle on out throughout the uh, morning hours into the afternoon, but I can't rule out that one of those kind of stays strong as it passes its way through. But notice any of these areas of darker shades of green or, and red that do pop up throughout the course of the day do have the chance to to give us a strong to severe storm. But again, for the most part, not looking at a widespread event, it's more isolated in nature throughout the entire day. A better chance, though, of some showers and thunderstorms will actually be overnight tonight into Tuesday morning. So this time on Tuesday, we may be looking at a solid line of some showers and thunderstorms making their way through during the overnight hours into tomorrow morning's commute. And again, same deal. Those could be on the strong to severe side as well. So we'll you know, be watching these rounds of wet weather closely throughout the day uh, today and into tonight. But for today's forecast, again, clouds to start some breaks of sunshine by midday. That 40% chance of a isolated shower or a storm which could be on the strong to severe side, staying warm and humid temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 away from the shoreline. For tonight, again, those showers and storms, especially after midnight towards daybreak on Tuesday. So that Tuesday morning commute could be a little bit tricky. Again, muggy, humid, similar story as has been the case the last several nights with the south winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So keep those ACs going uh, throughout the next uh, several days, actually. Here's that seven-day forecast for you. Look, look at the uh, rain chances continuing through the middle part of the week, even the end of the week as well. Very scattered in nature, though, every single day, so it's not looking like a washout on any of the days. Temperature staying in the 70s all the way until the weekend. We just keep that shower chances uh, continuing over the next seven days. And uh, here now is Melissa Sardelli with a look at your traffic.